Where do we go? What do we throw? Find out now from your boy, Mac. It's Mac Stratbook. All right, boys. So, what we're going to go over is our T anti eco. All right. So, there's two things we can do on an anti eco there's a passive and there's an aggressive. All right. If you know that they're going to be on a force with deagles, we'll probably go for the passive. But if they have any other gun, you can pretty much just go aggressive, you know. Alright, so the passive is going to be similar to what we used to do. Whereas we have someone boosted over here. Um, hello, friend. I don't know. Anyway, it's going to be roughly this angle. I can't see because I'm not on him properly. There we go. So it'll be roughly this angle. You just sort of hold this, make sure no one pushes A main. Um, old mate slays. Gonna be holding this long ass angle here, alright? The only bad thing about this is he can be peaked before this boy is peaked here. So he's gonna keep an eye on that. He could potentially even hold it a bit more like this. Play the corner. Anyway, so it's gonna be us three here. Probably like me, Ebby, and Slay. And uh MP5 and Quan, the best the best mates. They're gonna be up here. Actually, they'll be up here. Yeah, they can push B uppers, but they can't push here. We're not going to let them, alright? So, one's going to play further back here, watching this angle. And the other's going to play a little bit closer, just making sure they can't come up the ladder, alright? So, you can turn this into a crossfire, and you have the advantage if someone tries to come up the ladder regardless. You could also play if you, if you think they're going to flash, you know? So, it's still a bit of a crossfire. It's just less less as much. Just don't peek into Quan's bullets or... Um, MP5's bullets, whoever's playing fire and close. The only time they can really get you, and you should be able to hear it regardless, is if you're playing here, like pretty close. If a CT somehow gets boosted to that, or just makes that jump all by himself, you should hear him run and be like, oh, there's one push B uppers, and he could potentially get you like this, or hit you with that. And then, yeah, we're either going to execute on A from this, or smash B, depending on if we get picks from them pushing. Okay. That's the passive. So, the aggressive, alright? If it's a normal round, we're gonna have AKs. If it's like an anti-eco and you think they're gonna be full eco by, by SMGs, but I'd prefer you to have Galils or long range weapons, boys, alright? Um, you know, MAC-10 is a really good long range weapon, I would suggest that. And anyway, so we're gonna buy, this is gonna be it. We don't want them to hide in smokes. We don't really want them to get to close angles, so we're going to get someone swinging out, making sure no one can get into SL, and then from here, just sort of swing. Have a second person coming out main with you, sort of jiggle peeking behind you, making sure he's getting ready to tap heads, you know, get all this, all these shots down, all these shots fired and out. Um, what else? And then, yeah, so those two go there, maybe have three there, and then two in SL. Once we know that no one's going to come through SL, you know, the other boys come out, can swing on this and hold these angles as well. I'm gonna try to get bomb down after clearing bomb train together. Like I really like this strat because we're not gonna be buying a bunch of grenades because I like with pistols right we die a lot when they peak while we have a grenade out. And it's just bad timing. So to you know try to manipulate timing in our favor we always have our fucking guns out you know um always holding the right angles if someone's planting here trying to plant we have someone here fucking covering him we have to make sure no one's shooting from over here you know there's one up on bomb train and we know about it we can still plant just make sure you fucking cover the planter the plant will get him to peak he'll be like oh i can stop the planter you know anyway that's it um and then use your util for post plant so it'd be like mate you can push that if you want but you know smoke there you're gonna push enemy cross there flash it Bloody mollies, mollies for the bomb, mollies for the fucking, I don't know, heaven if you think there's one up there for whatever reason, but we should probably post plant there to catch them off guard. Um, there's a very, because I'm trying to leave this dirty, right? So when we're planning, we're going to have to have someone watching behind, someone watching here, maybe someone's still SL watching for this flank. There could be a big flank coming through from Ivy, but we know about it, so we're going to expect them behind, all right? We're not going to sit here and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, they're going to push the smokes. We're going to we're gonna be posted here, make sure that we're not getting pushed from fucking here, you know, maybe get up on the trains, even. 
have the range advantage, make sure this is all clear, make sure there's no one fucking sneaking around here. Sandwich is dangerous as shit, but we don't really want to go near it. We'll let them push from there or get trapped in there. You don't want to run past here. They'll always beat you to this angle and they have, you know, the best advantage in the world if they got a 5-7 sitting here just going like... You know, terrible. Um, anyway, so that's the aggressive. Uh, I guess I'll go over positions, but, you know, probably me, Ebby, Slay, out main, MP5 and Quan, bloody, coming down here, coming out here and running around, alright? Um, yeah, so that's it, so, like, MP5 or Quan, post plant there after we've taken sight, um, I'll be bomb bitch, I'm happy to be bomb bitch, as long as someone's covering me, Slay, you can be bomb bitch if you want, um, so we're gonna have someone planting, some covering, don't really want to plant for here, because it's open to that, prefer to plant here and have someone watching this angle. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I want us to do for the aggressive any eco. Um, on right, Ebby, mate, you bloody pretty much just come e box. You can watch the same angles we can from back here, pretty much. Uh, make sure this is clean. Make sure this is fine. Expect this guy to push. Expect this guy to be here. Expect someone up on the train. Like, you know, they're gonna be sneaky about it. So we just have to, you know, play sharp, play fucking good, and shoot, shoot people. All right, that's the bloody anti-eco strategies on T side. So I want you to remember those. 